Hello, Interior Alaska. Time for some Wednesday sports action. The UAS swim team is entering the postseason this week. In fact, today is the first day of the Pacific Collegiate Swim and Dive Conference Championships in La Mirada, California. The prelims are today. UAF went 4-2 in the PCSE with three wins over Biola. The Nanooks finished the year ranked 16th in the College Swimming Coaches Association poll. UAF's best finish in the PCSE championships was 4th in 2011 and 2012. The favorite is number 5, UC San Diego. They won five straight conference titles and seven of the last eight. This is the last meet for the Nooks to improve NCAA qualifying times. UAF comes in with 15 top 25 national times and 31 top 10 times in the conference. After winning the first ever Patriot Rifle Conference Championship last weekend, the Alaska Nanooks moved up from number three to number two in the nation. And this week's Collegiate Rifle Coaches Association poll, UAF is second in the country thanks to their 4702 score at Ohio State, tying another program record. That score boosted their three score average at three different venues over Kentucky. West Virginia is still number one, and Kentucky is now third. The Alaska rifle team will be back in the range on February 22nd and 23rd, hosting number 17 Nevada, number 20 UTEP in the NCAA qualifier. Now to individual accolades, UAF's Logan Hahnemann is this week's Air Alaska Nanook of the Week. The junior won his first individual Central Collegiate Ski Association titles last weekend. Hahnemann cruised in the 10K Classic, winning by 29 seconds. He even beat out former NCAA champion and Northern Michigan standout Eric Soderman, who was in the field as an open skier. Hahnemann won the 20K free skate mass start on Sunday in 40 minutes and 23.4 seconds as well. Those two wins earned the UAF men's team second place at the CCSA Championship. Hahnemann and the ski teams are now in Halton, Michigan this weekend for the NCAA Central Region Championships. Now for high school sports. Tomorrow is the start of the of the ASAA First National Cup 4A Hockey Tournament in the Curtis Menard Memorial Sports Complex in Wasilla. The Great Limb First National Cup starts Friday. Five interior teams have a chance at the Cup. West Valley, Lathrop, Hutchison, Monroe, and Delta Junction. L Lathrop will face CIC runner-up South at noon tomorrow. West Valley gets West, a team they tied 4-4 back in December at 5 o'clock on Thursday in the Greatland. Monroe has a chance to defend their title. The Rams, the four seed, plays number one Houston on Friday at 3. Number two Hutchison will play number three Delta Junction at 12.30 on Friday. We caught up with Wayne Sawchuck of West Valley and Lathrop's Kurt Franklin after the MAC championship about their state tournament matchups. We get south in the first game. Um, we played south twice and we played pretty well out of, against them for four and a half out of the six periods. The problem being is when we didn't play well, we gave up quite a few goals. We've had them first at state tournament, I think, last four years or five years, and we've been successful two or three times against them. So, um, you know, we get down there, we got a chance, but the kids are going to have to buy in and uh, play within our system. I just want us to take care of the puck defensively, make sure we get our must out of the zones and then get pucks in deep and, and get to the net. We need to, we need to get bodies in net in order to score. Um, West Anchorage has a good goalie, big goalie, so we're going to have to get pucks on them and get a lot of traffic there. There was some high school hoops action last night up the rich at North Pole High School. Ladies first, the Allison Ravens came to visit in this non-conference duel. And Katie Browder, the lawn two, she came to play. She had nine points for the Ravens in this one. But Jasmine McCormick, she answered with a nice inbounds play. She had 13 points for the Patriots. The North Pole's Alex Parker, she had 14 points. Hits a deep two in the second half of the Patriots without four starters. Stayed within eight or nine points going to the fourth. Allison kept going inside, getting points in the paint. Skylar Miners, the lefty, had nine points and seven assists. She fed Larissa Franklin, who had a game-high 20 points and 16 rebounds, 11 on the offensive glass as the Ravens pull away in the fourth and win 57-44 over North Pole. We executed inside by just looking and turning to the basket and to shoot and stuff like that. Um, our guards definitely um, gave us a lot of the opportunity to shoot. We just really wanted to win. We just like winning and we don't get that opportunity often and we really knew we could beat this team. In the boys game, the Patriots were playing after a week off, but you couldn't tell at first as Garrett Summer gets the steal and the bucket to start the game. But Allison, they were in this one. It was just 7-5 after one and the Ravens made it a 19-12 game in the second quarter, the bank opened right there, but the Patriots closed out the first half with some momentum and took a 23-12 lead at the break. Their play carried over in the second half. Lance Wright with the tip in. He led the Patriots with 12 points and 17 boards. Tony Griffith had 12 to lead the Ravens in his return from an ankle injury. Khalil Stewart would answer right here in transition as North Pole outscores the Ravens 44-25 in the second half and win this one 67-37 over Allison. 
And that'll do it for sports tonight. Thanks for rocking with me for a little while. Mike Schultz is next with your full weather forecast, and we'll catch you next time.